Hey guys, Anthony with The Rad Company, and in today's video, we are giving this Tesla the ultimate one-step polish for gloss and slickness. Let's jump in. That is insane. That is absolutely insane. It's literally just that slick. All right, guys, so in today's video, we are demonstrating one of our best kept secrets, which is the combination of Uno Protect and Bead Maker. Now, if you've seen this before in the past, shh, if you haven't seen it, keep watching because you're gonna wanna see this to see how glossy we can make this Tesla. Now, the Uno Protect and Bead Maker combo is technically a one-step style polish. Now, what is a one step? One step is typically one style of pad used on a machine with one style of product, typically an all-in-one such as Uno Protect. And so the idea is that we're not going for a full correction on this vehicle. We're going to try to extract as much gloss, remove as much defects as we can, just utilizing these basic essentials. So now you might be wondering, where does the bead maker come in? So when we're polishing using Uno Protect, we are not gonna be removing the product on the surface. We're actually gonna be letting it sit there and set up. Now Uno Protect does have some correction capabilities, especially paired with a more aggressive pad such as the yellow wool here. Now after we let the product set up, we're gonna be taking our bead maker, spraying it onto the surface, and then removing it. Now what are we gonna get out of this? We're gonna get some light correction, but we're also gonna add some gloss and a ton and I mean a ton of slickness. Now, what is this gonna require? It's unfortunately, if you don't have a machine, going to require a machine. So in today's case, I'm going to be using the LHR15 Mark III from Rupes and also the LHR75 Mini from Rupes. Uh, both of the machines that we do now sell at theragcompany.com, which is pretty dang cool if I say so myself. So other than that though, we're also gonna be going through and paint prepping the vehicle with our towels. Now, what are the requirements beforehand jumping into this combination? You're going to want to use common sense. Wash your car, clean your car. Um, if you need to do some type of iron decontamination, make sure it's done. And also, clay bar your vehicle as well. So we went through, did the wash earlier, and then we went through and then clayed everything just to make sure our surface was extra, extra smooth. So from here, we're gonna be taking the paint prep, removing any of that residual stuff, but also making sure that the surface is cleaned and prepped so we have better adhesion of the Uno Protect. So let's grab our towel, let's grab our paint prep, let's get to prepping. All right, so the prep work is done. So this has so far taken me roughly I think into the wash and into the decon and the clang and everything like that, I think we're into this car so far like 45 minutes. Right? Realistically, this whole process here could be knocked out in under two hours if you're pretty good and know what you're doing. Uh, but again, this is a money making step. And so we're in the business of making money. Business is good. So right here, DA, medium, wool from Rupes. I'm using a brand new pad here. Why am I using a brand new pad? You can also use a used pad, but Uno Protect does have some sealant properties in it, which means it will kind of clog up a pad the more you use it. So washing it rags to riches or using an APC is gonna be your best bet after you're done just to keep it to where it's not, you know, displacing a bunch of compound down the road. So uh, taking my little pad here, I'm gonna throw it on the LHR 15 Mark III. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. All right, so after the prep work is done, we are going to take our Uno Protect, give it a good shake. And by good shake, I mean, if it's been sitting on your shelf for a while, shake it two, three, four hours. <laughs> I'm just kidding. A couple of minutes, just to make sure everything's mixed up. From there, we're gonna be taking the Uno Protect and applying it to our pad. Now there's a couple different ways to do this. You can do a ring around it. I don't recommend doing the dots because the idea is that we do want this pad to have good, even coverage as we are applying the product, right? So a lot of people think that Uno Protect is something more like a compound, right? And it's not. It's something that we are applying to the surface to get the most out of its sealant properties. So I'm taking my hands, 
rubbing those into the fibers. Another thing you can do before opening up a, uh, after you open up a brand new pad is kind of get all those extra loose fibers from the wool out of there as well. But I'm doing this, doing this, 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 and this, working it in. And at this point in time, the pad looks pretty well primed and we can jump into it. All right, now there's a couple reasons why I'm working pretty fast. First off, this person that owns this Tesla is coming to pick it up in like literally an hour and a half. So I need to have this thing all sewn up and done. The other thing, it is uh, like 85 degrees in the studio today because it's 105 degrees outside and it's getting pretty toasted. So I will <laughs> toast it. It's getting pretty toasty. So I want to get this done. So with our pad primed and ready to go, I do take a look at the surface just to make sure there's no other contamination on the surface and it feels pretty smooth, especially after claying. There is water spots on this car and they are semi-etched. We're not going for perfection. I'm trying to extract as much gloss, as much slickness. That's what I'm going for. And that's when it's going to impress the owner of this vehicle. So jumping in, taking my pad, starting at the midpoint here, starting at a speed of roughly three. Now I'm gonna cut it right there. So the reason why I'm cutting it right there is I can feel just a little bit of that pad grab, meaning that even though this pad is primed and I've worked it into that section, Dylan typically likes to hold it there and wait till it's fully primed. I like to give it a little bit of movement. So from here, I'm gonna take a little bit more of my Uno Protect, apply a little bit more to my pad. Then from there, that's gonna get me enough to knock out the entire side of this hood and I can keep up with the speed. All right, so one thing I like to do is after making my pass, I do like to take a quick glimpse just to see what kind of correction I got and to see if the pad I paired with Uno Protect was the right choice for the paint. So I'm gonna take a towel here, just do a quick little wipe. And based on what I'm seeing, I'm seeing a little bit of that surrounding etch from that water spot, but it's nowhere near as bad as what it was. So what that tells me is that I can make either another pass to try to get a little bit more correction out of it, or if this is what I'm getting paid for to enhance gloss, enhance slickness as much as I can into one step, then I'm gonna call it good and I'm gonna move on. So with that said, let's go ahead and knock out the other side, get some more product in this area and keep going. All right, so the hood is finished, and so this took me roughly five minutes or so. Now you'll see I'm leaving product on the car. I'm gonna continue to do this through the entire process. That's the whole point of Uno Protect is to let it set up and then come through with Beadmaker for the wipe off. And it's gonna be uh, delicious and smooth. It's gonna smell amazing. Uh, it's gonna look amazing as well. So uh, for more correction out of this combo, right? If you're looking to get more out of what I'm already doing right now, that's when you would jump up to the blue coarse wool um, or the hybrid wool, however you wanna call it from Rupes. Uh, that's gonna give you more correction, but may introduce more micro marring as it doesn't finish out as nicely as the yellow wool, in my opinion. I love using wool because it keeps the heat down. And again, it's like 85 degrees in here. I am sweating, so keeping the heat down is a big priority. So to make the most out of the time we have left, I'm gonna knock out all the big areas with the LHR15 Mark III first, right? That way I'm not switching hands between machines constantly. So anything that I can knock out with this, I'm gonna use. All the smaller areas is gonna be the 75 Mini. This is gonna cut down on my time and hopefully make me more money in the long run. All right, so I'm ripping through this, door is done, fender's done over there, and I'm working my way to the back. Now, some people might wonder, when do you switch your pad? You're gonna wanna switch your pad when A, it starts getting too hot and you start getting a lot of product buildup. That's one of the downsides of using an all-in-one such as this is you're gonna have buildup. So the hard part about Uno Protect is while yes, you can attempt to blow it out if you want to, it's not like a traditional compound that's just gonna you know, release all that debris. A lot of that kinda gets stuck into the pad as well, so you might have to do a full-on wash hence why a second pad is necessary. So if it gets to that point of buildup where the product's really not working right or maybe you're having a ton of lint coming off from the amount of heat, 
swap to a different pad, right? Go wash this, let it cool down, wring it out, and then uh, this will be ready to go once the other one is uh, finished up for that time. So uh, anyways, keep in mind, and then also keep a, keep a lookout for your backing here. So when you're doing a one step and you're working really, really quick, you wanna make sure that you're not introducing too much heat because you are running this technically at a higher speed setting. So I've been running it at a solid about four and a half here on the Mark III, and so you don't want delamination happening from the backing plate area uh, to the actual foam. So um, we're making good time here. That was roughly, I don't know, probably another five minutes there for the door uh, in the front quarter. And so this will be about another five minutes here, and it saves a lot of time not wiping off the product you know, immediately because I'm not having to grab another towel and set the machine down and do that. Uh, having it sit there until we can come back through with a bead maker and towel is like the biggest time saver ever. Uh, but I can tell this is gonna look pretty dang good once we're done. So I'm gonna knock out this section and then probably some of the rear. Then I'm gonna swap to my other pad, jump to the other side, uh, and we'll be well on our way to get into that bead maker. All right, so the driver's side is done, completed, finished. So jump to another pad here. So this pad is feeling pretty toasty if I say so myself. Jimmy, catch this. Again, with a one step, you're typically, typically working at a higher speed. You can work at a slower speed uh, if you're not on a time crunch, right? But again, time is money. We're trying to work quick here. And so um, that's okay. We're moving on to our secondary pad here. Now for this, since definitely there's no, there's no roof. I mean, the roof is glass. I'm just gonna spray bead maker on the glass, but if it needs to be polished, then I may I may need a third pad, but typically me and Levi uh, can get through this with about two pads, two larger pads, one smaller pad, and we can call it good for an entire car. So putting this on here, can I get it right the first time? I can't, I never can, come on. <sighs> Just can't catch a break, guys. You know what, as Levi says, it's good enough for the girls that we go out with. Let's get started. All right guys, so we just finished up with the big polisher and so total run time on the polisher so far, roughly 35 minutes with Uno Protect. Now again, the reason why it's going so fast is because I don't have a wipe off yet and so I am able to move really, really quick. And so from here, I'm gonna be using the small LHR 75 Mini and knocking out the top pillars as well as the mirrors. But for the most part, I was able to fit the 15 into pretty much everything on this Tesla, making it pretty easy and the fact that the roof is glass I didn't have to polish it, uh, it made things really easy as well. Now, if you wanna polish the glass, by all means, have at it. I'm just planning on bead makering the glass after prepping it and calling it good. And so, uh, with that said, we're gonna throw this pad on this. Hopefully I have better luck, knock out the pillars, knock out the mirrors, and then it's time for the good stuff. All right, so we just finished up with the 75 Mini, and so now, Depending on when you started and how fast you were, you do have a small wait time. Now we typically recommend waiting roughly 30 minutes for that Uno Protect to set up before wiping off with the bead maker. But if you remember right, I told you it was about 35 minutes into polishing time. This was maybe another five minutes or so, which means that the hood was done about 35 minutes ago, which gives us our setup time, which means we can jump straight into it with bead maker and start wiping off and revealing that beautiful high gloss high slickness finish. So uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. So it's time for that delicious wipe off. Now for this, I like to use the FTW. I used to like the Edgeless 365, but the FTW has kind of won me over recently with this type of polish removal. So taking bead maker here, have it an IK sprayer. I'm going to spray my towel, prep it up, and then give some sprays on the surface. You don't have to do a ton, but you wanna have some decent coverage on here just to help with the slickness, the wipe off, and okay, enough talking, let's do it. Flip our towel, buff it out. Holy crap, man. That is insane. That is absolutely insane. The slickness is 
beyond any coating, beyond really, I think, any other product I've tried. It's literally just that slick. So I'm gonna continue this process throughout the entire thing. We'll overlay some B-roll, but just stay tuned because the after shots of this video are gonna be that high gloss finish. So as always, guys, if you enjoy this kind of content and wanna see more of these kind of shorter, more straight to the point videos, make sure to give us a big thumbs up, subscribe down below for more, and stay tuned for more videos right here at The Rat Company.